Welcome back everybody, thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm back with another challenge guide for week 3 of the first season. So let's jump straight into it. The first solo challenge is in Villa Verde get grenades to destroy Unidad vehicles. Ideally this is the same place that you need to go to complete the task force challenge. The task force challenge is to destroy 12 helicopters using C4. So head to forward operating base Toucan. There are 3 vehicles there which you can destroy with a grenade and 3 helicopters to destroy with C4. Best thing to do is to clear the base, destroy the vehicles, then kill yourself so you spawn just outside the base with everything back again to rinse and repeat. Be aware though, whilst doing these challenges, I did notice that if you blow up all the helicopters at the same time with your C4, then it can sometimes only register as one. So best thing to do is just blow them up individually to make sure you get all three in one hit. The second challenge is head to Akora and kill Unidad soldiers from at least 200 metres away. There are no Unidad bases in Akora. Best thing to do is head to Akora Delta and down towards forward operating base Armadillo. I took them out with a sniper from across the water and although they're not in the region, because you are, this does count towards the challenge. The final solo challenge is to use your explosive drone to take out Unidad vehicles in the tobacco region. Again, in this region there are no Unidad bases, so the best thing to do is to find a Unidad helicopter flying around somewhere, attack it so you get a patrol on you, then vehicles will start spawning into the area. After a minute a few vehicles will have spawned so you can just get out your drone and you should be able to get all three with the same hit. The community challenge this week is to destroy Unidad helicopters in any province. Now there is a total of 1.2 million that needs to be destroyed on Xbox. I don't have the numbers for PlayStation or PC but I do expect PlayStation to be a little bit higher and PC to be a little bit less. I believe this is due to the size of the player base. Now we all know that that player base is starting to dwindle especially after the recent DLC Narco Road and the fact that the community didn't take to it very well. What we're really waiting for is the next DLC and PvP which will hopefully be here soon and hopefully also for these community challenges to improve. We do know that in week 6 we are going to be getting a Yeti Hunter challenge and the tasks do seem to be a little bit more in depth than the current weekly challenges. The rewards today have been skins on guns, patches or clothing. Hopefully as the season comes to an end we'll get some better rewards as this doesn't really feel like it's worth grinding out each week for, although the challenges do seem to be quite easy to complete. Saying that though, the community challenge last week was unobtainable for both PS4 and Xbox, so I think they got their numbers a little bit wrong for how many people are still actually playing the game. But anyway, I hope that this guide has helped, and until next time, take care.